Hi, my name is Maria Tejeria. I am a graduate student in mechanical engineering. Today we're going to talk about how solutes such as salt change the boiling point and freezing point of water. So what better way to demonstrate this than by making ice cream? The way we're going to do this is you're going to take a small Ziploc bag, put half a cup of heavy cream, a tablespoon of sugar, and just a quarter teaspoon of vanilla for flavor. And we do this in each one of these bags. We then put them into a larger Ziploc bag that is filled with ice. This other one is also filled with ice. The difference that we're going to do between these two is that we're going to add salt to this one. Not in the small Ziploc bag, but in the ice. Let's add quite a bit of salt. That should do it. All right, we go ahead and close these two up. And now the fun begins. What you want to do is we want to shake it so that the small bag is getting immersed in the ice. We're going to do the shaking with both bags. And this should be like five to 10 minutes. All right, let's see where we're at. This one, remember, is the one without salt. And if we look at it, you might already be able to tell, but we still have just milk. On the other hand, the one with salt, oh, it's looking good. Let's see. Oh, you can tell. Actually, it won't come out because we have ice cream. Mmm, it's pretty good. So what I have here is an infrared thermometer. We're going to use this to measure the temperature of the ice where we had put our baggies of ice cream. Here, the one without salt, we see that the temperature is about one degree Celsius, which is what we would expect for ice. On this one with the one with salt, what we actually see is that the temperature is about negative six degrees Celsius. So why did this happen? Why were we able to make ice cream with one bag and not the other? If we look into a bag of ice, we actually have water in both solid and liquid forms. And both forms are about zero degrees Celsius where water becomes ice. When we add salt to the bag of ice and water, we lower the freezing point of the water. This lowering of the freezing point allows us to lower the temperature of the water in the liquid form in there to lower than zero degrees Celsius. As a result, the overall temperature of the mixture of ice, water, and salt will be lower than zero degrees Celsius. We need this lower temperature in order to transform our ice cream mixture into ice cream. Now let's look at how salt affects the boiling temperature of water. What we have here is just three regular pots and I'm gonna add a cup of water to each of them. Our experiment is gonna show us how the salt affects the boiling point of water. In the pot of the farthest back, we're not gonna add any salt. On this one, we'll add a tablespoon of salt. Go ahead and mix it in. And on the pot to my left, we're gonna add a whole quarter cup of salt. So my question for you now is, which of these pots will boil first? Or in other words, which of this water has the lowest boiling temperature? So let's go ahead and turn on the stoves. All right, so we have all of them turned on to high and we just have to wait for a second. Okay, what we can see here is that the pot without any salt is already boiling and it's only about 88 degrees Celsius. Now the one with a little bit of salt is starting to boil at, and this is boiling at 94 degrees Celsius. We see the increase in boiling point. The one with a ton of salt is not quite there yet. So let's turn up the heat and see if we can get that one boiling. All right, now we see that the one with a lot of salt is starting to boil. Let's check the temperature. We have 98, 97 degrees Celsius. What we have learned here is that again, salt affects the properties of water. In this case, what we have learned is that adding salt or any solid for that matter will increase the boiling point of water. And more importantly, we have also learned that the higher the concentration of salt, the larger the effect on the boiling point of water. 
These two examples have shown us how salt affects the boiling point and freezing point of water. Now you know why in the winter we put salt on the roads to keep ice off them.